Hello friends, this video provides Microsoft Excel based in-depth analysis of the Euro Million Lottery starting from January 1st, 2019 to date, which means the results of 282 draws. Analysis of this level of practical intelligence could answer almost every possible question you have in mind about the probabilities and patterns. Therefore, it helps the user decide what numbers to choose and what numbers to avoid when placing the bet, thus significantly increasing your winning chance. As a user, all you need to do is enter the draw results and Excel will do the rest. The Seminal Data tab is where you enter numbers. The numbers are grouped into five segments for ease of analysis. The rest of the analysis is entirely dependent on the segmentation. The combined column combines the segment numbers and the combined in order puts these numbers into large to small order. The segment analysis 1 and segment analysis 2 look at the likelihood of a segment to occur based on the past 282 draw results. It compares occurrences of segments and helps you decide the two segments from the possible seven. If you look at segment analysis 2 tab, you can see that out of the possible seven segments, 90.43% is from three segments. More interestingly, 41.13% is from just one segment, which is 2110. The segment analysis 3 shows the likelihood a segment to appear based on the past results segment. For example, segment 31100 occurred 25 times in the last 282 draws when the previous draw results segment was 21110. So as a user, how does it help you? Let me explain. Suppose the previous draw results segment was 31100. The Excel will tell you the most likely segment after 31100 is 21110 because it occurred 21 times, which is 44.68%. Now let's go to variation analysis. I will take the example of variation analysis 2 and I will explain to you in a moment why I skipped the tab variation analysis 1. Variation analysis tells you the different variations of a segment that occurred so far. For example, 2110 can have several combinations such as 12110, 20111, 21011, etc. Here under the 2-1110 segment, the total number of variations that occurred so far is 20. In spite of the fact that the umbrella segment occurred 116 times so far. This means that the probability of each variation or combination to occur is 5.8 times. In other words, the repeat probability is 82.76%. Please apply this logic to all variation analysis provided. Now if you look at variation analysis 1, all we can think of is one variation or combination because in whichever way you shuffle it, triple one double one will always be triple one double one. The number analysis tells you the number of times each standard number, that is 1 to 50 numbers, occurred so far. It tells you the probability of each number to occur within a segment and the likelihood of each number to occur when considering all 50 numbers. Now let's analyze the lucky stars. These are the special two numbers we should choose from 1 to 12. Since we have to choose two numbers, let me go to the seminal tab and show you. Here it is. Therefore, we have created two separate groups with the same range that is 1 to 12. The lucky stars are also divided into four segments that is 1 to 3, 4 to 6, 7 to 9, and 10 to 12. Tab 1 of the lucky stars tells the user the probability of the segments to occur and each number to appear when lucky star group 1 and group 2 are separately analyzed and when combined. Also each analysis tells you the probability of each lucky star number to occur when considering all draws that is 2 h 2 draws so far. The Lucky Stars tab 2 provides the probability of Lucky Star numbers to occur in group 1 and group 2. Here you will also get drop down buttons to help you sort the data according to your betting strategy.
the lucky star tab 3 provides the trajectory of group 1 and group 2 numbers. The lucky stars tab 4 and 5 tells you the probability of each lucky star to occur after another lucky star. For example, in group 1, the number 2 occurred 13 times after number 1. Similarly, in group 2, number 6 occurred 9 times after number 11. The lucky star tab 6 and 7 tells you the probability of each lucky star to be one of the standard numbers. For example, in group 1, lucky star number 6 was one of the 5 drawn standard numbers 4 times so far. The 5 standard numbers indicate the 5 numbers you have to choose from 1 to 50 numbers each time you bet. The segment to lucky star ratio tells you the probability of each lucky star to occur after specific segments. For example, in segments to lucky star group 1 ratio, lucky star number 2 occurred 19 times when the segment was double to one double zero. The lucky star to segment ratio tells you the probability of each segment to occur after specific lucky stars. For example, in lucky star group 2 to segments ratio, segment 31100 occurred 4 times when the lucky star group 2 number was 5. The numbers to the lucky star 1 ratio and the numbers to the lucky star 2 ratio tells you the probability of each lucky star to occur after specific standard numbers that is 1 to 50. For example, in standard numbers to lucky star group 2 ratio, the lucky star number 8 occurred 3 times when the standard number was 4. Now, the final tab provides the lucky star numbers to standard numbers ratio. For example, the standard number 13 occurred 9 times when group 1 lucky star number was 2. We have come to the concluding section of this video. I have tried my best to limit the length of the video to a minimum because as we all know impatience is an intrinsic nature of the human. Still I am sure that you have understood the concept well if you have watched the video entirely. The Excel workbook provides invaluable insight a lot more than what I have briefly explained in this video. The workbook is available for sale and the cost is 200 Australian dollars. If you are interested in purchasing, please send an email to bells.cob at gmail.com. If you want to try it before purchasing, we can also provide a trial version. Thank you for watching and I wish you all the very best in your future endeavors.